Hi, my name's Guybrush Threepwood, and I want to be a pirate. Yikes! Don't sneak up on me like that. Um, I'm over this way. Ah, well then, Thriftweed. Threepwood. Guybrush Threepwood. I see. So, you want to be a pirate, eh? You look more like a flooring inspector. But if you're serious about pirating, go talk to the pirate leaders. You'll find them in the scum bar. Gosh, thanks. I'll do that. Bye now. I'm off to seek my fortune. Good luck! Um, where did you say those pirate leaders were? The scum bar. Right. Thanks. What be ye wanting, boy? I want to be a pirate. So what? Why bother us? Hey, don't forget we're short on help because of this whole chuck thing. So? So, no pirates means no swag, and no swag means no grog, and we're getting dangerously low on grog. Hmm. Do you have any special skills? I can hold my breath for ten minutes. Well, all right. But you don't become a pirate just by asking. You'll have to go through... The, the Three, three trials. trials! Uh, what three trials are those? There are three trials every pirate must pass. You must... Master the sword, and the art of thievery, and the quest. The what? Treasure hunting, you sea urchin. Right! You must prove yourself in each of these three areas. Swordplay, thievery, and a, a treasure huntery. Then return with proof that you've done it. And then, you must drink grog with us! Grog! I'll just be running along now. Leave us to our grog! Come back later and tell us how you're doing! Cozy. Oh, got it. I think it's a herring. I think that bird will peck my hand off. Ow, oh, got it. Grr. <laughs> Meanwhile, deep beneath Monkey Island, the ghost pirate LeChuck ship lies anchored in a river of lava. Captain LeChuck, sir. I... Ah, there's nothing like the hot winds of hell blowing in your face. No, sir. Nothing like it. Ah, <laughs> uh, sir. I... It's days like this that make you glad to be dead. Oh, yes, sir. Glad to be dead. 
You are glad to be dead, right? Oh, yes, sir. I, I feel so lucky that you happened to capture my ship, then murdered me and everyone on board. <laughs> yes, yes, sir. Lucky. Glad to hear it. Now, what was it you disturbed me for? Uh, y yes, sir. Well, you see, we might have a problem on Melee Island. Problem? What possible problem could there be? I've got those sissy pirates so scared of the sea, they're afraid to take a bath. Well, there seems to be a new pirate in town. Actually, he's a pirate wannabe. Young, inexperienced, probably nothing to worry about. Don't know why I bother you with it. <laughs> I'll have him taken care of myself. Wait! I'll handle this personally. My plans are too important to be messed up by amateurs. Yes, sir. I get in the cannon, but the gunpowder makes me sneeze. Well, I can do it. I hurt my hand taming the lions last week. I hardly think that little scratch compares to my chronic allergy. You get in the cannon. You don't have any allergies, you faker. You get in the cannon. No, you get in the cannon. No, you get in the cannon. Slacker. Loser. Ruffian. Flop. Weasel. Weevil. Miscreant. Does this place have a bathroom? Say there, son. How do you like the chance? A once in a lifetime a chance. To perform an amazing feat. A death defying feat. Well, not so death defying, really. Uh, dangerous feat. No, not dangerous at all. An easy feat. But exciting. With the amazing. Adventurous. Acrobatic. And exceedingly well known. Fabulous. Flying! Ferrucini brothers! That's us! My brother Alfredo! And my brother Bill! Sound good? Good! It's very simple, really! See that cannon over there? All you have to do is get in the cannon! And we'll shoot you out of it! Across the room! Quite safe, actually! So, what do you say? Okay, I'll do it! We'll pay you 478 pieces of eight. Have you got a helmet? Of course I have a helmet. What sort of idiot do you take me for? Well, let's have it. We want to be sure. That it's safe. Wouldn't want you hurt. No sorry! Ah, that will work as a helmet. Now we can do the trick. Step right over here, son. Now, put on your helmet. And get in the cannon. And we'll take care of the rest. Echo! Echo! It works! Oh, I'm so relieved. Hey! Are you okay? I'm Bobbin. Are you my mother? He's all right! Hooray! We are spared an embarrassing and financially debilitating lawsuit! Here is your money, sir. Just a recompense for aiding us. The basic theory is fine. We just need to change the aim a bit. I'll try it next! No, I'll do it next! No, me! No, me! Slacker! Loser! Ruffian! Fop!
Excuse me, but do you have a cousin named Sven? No, but I once had a barber named Dominique. Close enough. Let's talk business. You want to buy a map to the legendary lost treasure of Melee Island? Only one in existence. Rare. Very rare. Only 100 pieces of eight. I'll take it. It'll make a swell gift. There you go. You've made a wise decision. Now get lost. I think I've been had. This is no map. It looks like dancing lessons. Do you guys know the sneaky-looking man on the opposite corner? Saw you buying a map from that fellow over there! Have you looked at it yet? <laughs> Perhaps you should consider an alternate source. Our maps are top quality, not like the bird-caged liners you get from that clown across the street. <laughs> no, just kidding. <laughs> These are actually copies of the minutes of the last meeting of the Melee Island PTA. Can't even give them away. <laughs> ah, want one? No, but I'll take one if you give me two pieces of eight. Okay, that's fair. I'll just be running along now. Hmm, a rubber chicken with a pulley in the middle. What possible use could that have? Maybe no one will miss just this one thing. It never fails. I step away from the counter for two seconds and some idiot's already ringing that stupid bell. What do you want? About this sword. Yeah, what about it? I want it. Great. Best hundred pieces of eight you ever spent. What else do you want? About this shovel. Yeah, what about it? I want it. Great. Oh, it'll pay for itself, believe me. Yeah, you'll dig up 75 pieces of eight in no time. But hey, save some treasure for the rest of us, would you? <laughs> what else do you want? I think I'd just like to browse. Oh, be my guest, fancy pants. My, what an unusually bright yellow they are. It's a striking yellow color.
the legendary lost treasure of Melee Island. This carefully reproduced piece of Melee Island history has delighted thousands of would-be pirates and their families for generations. Remember, there are other pirates on this island. So go easy on the treasure. Leave some for the next person. Hmm, looks like a big plus sign. What could that possibly mean? Well, this shouldn't take too long. Hours pass. Hey, I think I hit something. Oh boy, it's a t-shirt. Not my size, but a nice one nonetheless. Well, I guess I should put all this dirt back now. More hours pass. I found the treasure of Melee Island and all I got was this stupid t-shirt. I don't think I can get past them. Important notice. These dogs are not dead. They are only sleeping. No animals were harmed during the production of this game. This looks like a job for Fester's shine top. No, not the red button! It's a big, ugly, hairy yak wearing some wax lips. I can't move it. I can't move it. I'll need this. I must be nuts. Hack! <laughs> Gophers!
It's beautiful. I can't open it. Uh oh. That should hold him for a while. If only I had a file, I could get the idol. You gotta get me out of here! I'm a victim of society! Not to mention halitosis. Blah. Hey, it's hard to keep my breath minty fresh when there's nothing to eat in here but rats. Talk to death breath? No thanks. Ahoy there, fancy pants. What do you want? I could really use a breath mint. Whew, you're telling me. Here, take one. Please, take the whole roll. That'll be one piece of eight. What else do you want? I think I'd just like to browse. Okay, wake me up if you need anything. Ahoy! Oh! Grago Mint! How refreshing! Thanks! So, have you come to release me? Who are you? My name is Ores. At least I think it is. I've been in here so long I can hardly remember. You gotta get me out of here before I lose my mind completely! Can't you see? I'm innocent! But why are you in jail if you're innocent? I was framed! I didn't touch the stupid flowers! What flowers? The jello conish in dormi flowers in the forest. It's against the law to pick them. Well, keep a stiff upper lip. I gotta go. Thanks a lot. Hey, this might work on the rats. Thanks. Here, take this carrot cake in exchange. My Aunt Tilly made it. It's a raspy metal file. I've got the file!
Whew, that was a close one. At least I got the idol. But I'm not done with you yet! Uh-oh. Thought you could get out of here with the idol of many hands, did you? Look, I can explain. So can I. You poisoned the governor's pet poodles. They're just sleeping. Broke into her house. The door was unlocked. And stole one of her most valuable pieces of art. No, you've got it all wrong. Oh, really? Well, let's hear your explanation. Well, I was just taking it out for a walk. Ta! Ah! What's going on here? I caught this hoodlum making off with your idol, Governor. He says he was just taking it out for a walk. Well, isn't that nice of him? What? You heard me, Fester. The real question is, how did he get in here while you were on guard? I, uh... Oh, just go away, Fester. I can handle this. Hmm. I'll deal with you later. Sorry about him. He's new. I'm Governor Marley. Governor Elaine Marley. Taking my idol out for a little breather, were you? Gosh. Relax, Mr. Threepwood. I know why you're here. Believe me, you're not the first who's tried. Although I have to admit, not many get as far as you have. Jeepers! Uh... My lookout told me of your arrival. I've wanted to meet you ever since I heard your fascinating name. Tell me, Guybrush, why do you want to be a pirate? You don't look like one. Your face is too... sweet. <laughs> I see. Well, you're obviously not in the mood for idle chit-chat, are you? I suppose you've got many more exciting things to do. I won't take up any more of your time, Mr. Threepwood. Blue. Merfinkiv. Dwingly. <sighs> I really wish I knew how to talk to women. Where do you think you're going, freak word? I'm going to go put this idol in my safe deposit box. Oh, really? I know a really safe locker you could put it in. Davy Jones' locker! Hand over your sword. Uh-oh. This is the end of the road, my little pantalooned pal. Your troublemaking days on Melee Island are over. My plans for the governor are far too important and much too near completion to risk letting a would-be pirate like you get in the way. So long, Mr. Spice Cake or Droop Face or whatever your name is. Hmm. This might actually turn out to be a pretty good day. Actually, it's more like a fabulous doorstop. I guess I'll be needing a sword. This one will do. Well, that wasn't so hard. Now all I have to do is get these fish out of my pants. You're alive! Governor! Hey, you can talk. <laughs> Who'd have known? What are you doing here? Come to finish the job? No, I came down here to save your life. Fester wasn't acting on my orders when he threw you in there. Uh, you came down here to rescue me? I, I didn't even think you liked me. Well, our first meeting was a little awkward. You seemed to have trouble forming complete sentences. But then again, so do most of my citizens. But I'm not one of your citizens. I'm just a drifter. A nobody. A would-be pirate. Who would have known or even cared if you'd let me drown? I would have, Guybrush. Oh, Governor. Oh... Threepwood. Oh, Elaine. Oh, Guybrush. Love Muffin. Sugar Boots. Honey Pumpkin. Plunder Bunny. Kiss me. No, we mustn't. What? Not here, where everyone can see us. Why, are you ashamed of me? No, no, it's not that at all. It's just that many of these pirates have made advances towards me. And to avoid hurting their feelings, I've always told them that my father made me promise never to fall in love with a pirate. If they see us together, they'll know I was lying. Okay then, let's go to your place. Okay. But finish your trials first. I don't want you to be preoccupied. But... I feel this sudden urge to complete the trials quickly.
Stop! You must pay a toll. Stand aside, troll. I'm a mighty pirate. <laughs> You're no pirate. While well, the town drunk could out insult you on his back, and probably would. I can out insult anybody, you brainless clay doppelganger. I once owned a dog that was smarter than you. Take that and stick it in your repertoire. None shall pass. Ah, a red herring. Pass. Captain Smirk's Big Body Pirate Gym. Prices. Sword training. 30 pieces of weight. Cannon firing. 160 pieces of weight. Balls extra. Grappling hook. 130 pieces of weight. Hook extra. I think I'll knock. It'd only be polite. What do you want, you wimpy little spineless maggot? Could you make me the best sword fighter on melee? You mean not counting the Swordmaster? Counting everybody. I want to be the best. Better than the Swordmaster? You? <laughs> you could never be half the sword fighter Carly is. Even with hours of hard work and sweat and blood. I remember fighting side by side with Carla at Port Royal. The local constabulary had us cornered. It looked like we were done for, but then she said, But I digress. You just don't have what it takes. I do so have what it takes. You do not. I do so. You do not. I do so. Oh, I like your spirit. I'll do what I can. Of course, it'll cost you. What do you got? Well, I've got 30 pieces of eight. Say no more, say no more. Let's see your sword. Okay, check it out. Yes, this is a nice one. Let's get to it. Okay, you maggot. Why don't you whip that sword out and let's see what you can do with it. Boy, you fight like a dairy farmer. I usually don't waste my time with vermin like yourself. But seeing as this LeChuck thing has put a cramp on business, I got no choice. I need the money. Yes, I can see this is gonna take some special measures. Just want you to know, I don't do this with everyone. It's only because I feel that special student-mentor pieces of eight bonding that I'm going to these lengths. I'm gonna put you up against... The Machine. Machine? Is this gonna hurt? Yikes! Come at me! Don't be afraid, you won't hurt me. Watch your footwork! Watch your footwork! Watch your footwork! Advance, thrust, recover, parry, repost! No! Beat first, then lunge! Advance, thrust, recover... Uh. You're starting to get the hang of it. More hours later. Not bad. You've got good form. Now I'm gonna let you in on the true secret of sword fighting. Sword fighting is kinda like making love. It's not always what you do, but what you say. Any fool pirate can swing a sharp piece of metal around and hope to cut something. But the pros, they know just when to cut their opponent with an insult. One that catches them off guard. You see, kid, your wit's gotta be twice as sharp as your sword. Let's try a couple of insults out, shall we? Okay, imagine this. We're fighting up a storm, just like Carla and I were doing at Port Royal. There's a sudden break in the fighting, and I say to you, you fight like a dairy farmer. You respond with? So's your mother. I can see we've got a lot of work to do here. You should have responded with something like, how appropriate. You fight like a cow. You see, it's razor-sharp wit like that that wins fights. Let's try another. Imagine this. You're trapped up against a wall. My sword just slashed two cuts into your face. I say, soon you'll be wearing my sword like a shish kebab. You respond with? Oh, yeah? 
I can see we're in deep trouble here. Ah. Oh. A correct response to, soon you'll be wearing my sword like a shish kebab, would have been something like, First, you better stop waving it around like a feather duster. See? Razor sharp. Now, I suggest you go out there and learn some insults. I can't help but feel like I've been ripped off. I'm sure you're feeling something similar. Move out of the way, or I cuts my way through. My name is Guybrush Threepwood. Prepare to die. I once owned a dog that was smarter than you. He must have taught you everything you know. I've heard you were a contemptible snake. Oh, yeah? Nobody's ever drawn blood from me, and nobody ever will. Oh, yeah? I give up! You win! Stopping a pirate can be dangerous to your health. My name is Guybrush Threepwood. Prepare to die. Nobody's ever drawn blood from me and nobody ever will. You run that fast. Nobody's ever drawn blood from me and nobody ever will. You run that fast? I've heard you were a contemptible sneak. I am rubber. You are glue. Soon you'll be wearing my sword like a shish kebab. Oh, yeah? I give up. You win. Whatever you want, you scurvy lover. My name is Guybrush Threepwood. Prepare to die. Nobody's ever drawn blood from me, and nobody ever will. You run that fast? Have you stopped wearing diapers yet? How appropriate. You fight like a cow. You're no match for my brains, you poor fool. Oh, yeah? Look behind you! A three-headed monkey! Hey, this better be important. My name is Guybrush Threepwood. Prepare to die. Have you stopped wearing diapers yet? I'm shaking! I'm shaking! I've heard you were a contemptible sneak. Too bad no one's ever heard of you at all! I'm not gonna take your insolence sitting down! Oh, yeah? This is the end for you, you gutter-crawling cur! Oh, yeah? Oh, I give up. You win. Aye, oh, this better be important. My name is Guybrush Threepwood. Prepare to die.
Have you stopped wearing diapers yet? Why did you want to borrow one? You make me want to puke. Why did you want to borrow one? I once owned a dog that was smarter than you. Oh, yeah? Look behind you! A three-headed monkey! What you be wanting, you scurvy lover? My name is Guybrush Threepwood. Prepare to die. I once owned a dog that was smarter than you. He must have taught you everything you know. I'm not gonna take your insolence sitting down. Too bad no one's ever heard of you at all. Have you stopped wearing diapers yet? Why, did you want to borrow one? This is the end for you, you gutter-crawling cur. And I've got a little tip for you. Get the point? Oh, I give up. You win. Hey, this better be important. My name is Guybrush Threepwood. Prepare to die. You're no match for my brains, you poor fool. Oh, yeah? I'm not gonna take your insolence sitting down. Oh, your hemorrhoids are flaring up again, eh? <laughs> this is the end for you, you gutter-crawling cur! And I've got a little tip for you. Get the point? Nobody's ever drawn blood from me, and nobody ever will. Oh, yeah? I give up. You win. Aye, oh, this better be important. My name is Guybrush Threepwood. Prepare to die. Soon you'll be wearing my sword like a shish kebab. First, you better stop waving it like a feather duster. People fall at my feet when they see me coming. You run that fast? You make me want to puke. Too bad no one's ever heard of you at all. Uncle! Uncle! Stopping a pirate can be dangerous to your health. My name is Guybrush Threepwood. Prepare to die. People fall at my feet when they see me coming. Even before they smell your breath? I got this scar on my face during a mighty struggle. You run that fast? I once owned a dog that was smarter than you. He must have taught you everything you know. Oh, you make me want to puke. I'm shaking. I'm shaking.
I'm not gonna take your insulin sitting down. I am rubber, you are glue. Wow, you're good enough to fight the Swordmaster. It never fails. I step away from the counter for two seconds and some idiot's already ringing that stupid bell. What do you want? I'm looking for the Swordmaster of Melee Island. The Swordmaster of Melee Island? Hmm. Now, I don't know. See, nobody knows the whereabouts of her secret hideout. Nobody except me. I'd have to go and ask her if it's okay to show you the way. Hmm. I guess I could hike all the way over there. Once. I'll be right back. And don't touch anything! I better just stay back here and eavesdrop. Hello again, Carla. I thought I told you to get lost. Actually, I'm here on uh, business. This kid, come into my store, see? Face it, you crusty old lech. You'd make any excuse just to come out here and bother me. Yeah, I guess so. Well, cut it out. I'm sick of it. Take a hike and don't come out here again. Someone might follow you. And then I'd become another Melee Island tourist attraction. Hey, it's your loss, baby. Yeah, right. Now scram. How dare you approach the Swordmaster without permission, which I surely didn't give you. My name is Guybrush Threepwood. I've come to kill you. Nothing like being honest. I can tell by the sarcastic expression on your face that you've been fully trained by Captain Smirk. Let's get this over with. You are a pain in the backside, sir.
Your hemorrhoids are flaring up again, huh? There are no clever moves that can help you now. Yes, there are. You just never learned them. I hope you have a boat ready for a quick escape. I'm glad to hear you attended your family reunion. My sword is famous all over the Caribbean. Too bad no one's ever heard of you at all. My tongue is sharper than any sword. First, you'd better stop waving it like a feather duster. No one will ever catch me fighting as badly as you do. I wanted to make sure you'd feel comfortable with me. Now I know what filth and stupidity really are. I'm glad to hear you attended your family reunion. I give up. You win. Well, I hope you're happy. You can go back and brag to all your friends about how you beat the Swordmaster. You'll need proof. Here. This should convince them. What was that? I'm so confused. Hey! What are you doing just standing around? The governor's been kidnapped! What? By whom? LeChuck's got her on that ship that just sailed off. <laughs> I'm afraid we've seen the last of her. Why don't you think we'll see her again? LeChuck's taken the governor back to his hideout on Monkey Island. I'm afraid that no pirate on this island is brave enough to follow him there. But hey, good luck. Oh yeah, I almost forgot. Uh, they left this note. You can have it, but I don't think you'll like what it says. Attention, pirates of melee. Your governor is alive and well and by my side as she was always meant to be. If you try to find us, you will only meet with horrifying disaster. Yours truly, Captain LeChuck. <laughs> What's wrong, old sot? The governor is gone. LeChuck and his spectral crew came and got her. <laughs> They put her in the ghost ship and spirited her away. She was so good to me. Always conveniently losing those health board reports. <laughs> For a small consideration, of course. What'll become of my business? Oh, woe is me. <laughs> what can I do to save her? You must get a ship and go after her. The ghost pirate's lair is on Monkey Island. Everybody knows that. Don't ask me how. All you need to do is find a way there. 
Where can I get a ship? Why, it's Smiling Stan's used shipyard. Same as everybody else. Tell them I sent you. We're old friends. Right. I'm off. Good luck. Be sure to wear your mittens and your galoshes. And don't forget to write. Bye now. <laughs> this stuff is eating. <laughs> Hey, Gray! A drink! I'm real thirsty. Yikes! Wow! And to think I used to drink that stuff. I'm free! Oh yeah, thanks. My name's Ores, by the way. If there's anything I can ever do for you. Well, actually, there is something. I'm looking for brave people to join my crew and sail off to Monkey Island with me to rescue the governor. She's been abducted by the fearsome pirate LeChuck and is being held against her will somewhere in his secret hideout. I see. Well, Jess, hmm. LeChuck, you say? Well, Jess? Yes, of course. We must sail to Monkey Island and... <gasps> hey, look! Behind you, I three had a monkey! I can't believe I fell for that. Pretty good trick, though. Meanwhile... Having just returned from Melee, LeChuck and his crew find their old hiding place in the underground rivers of Monkey Island and drop anchor. Captain, sir, I just stopped by to congratulate you on your kidnapping mission. Captain? Captain, are you all right? Never felt better. And how fares our prisoner? Ah, yes, the uh, prisoner. <laughs> we had a little trouble. Trouble! No, 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 nothing to worry about, sir. Everything's under control. She escaped a few times, but we've got her locked up in the brig. No one's getting in or out of there. For your sake, I hope not. With years of planning almost destroyed by my death, I'm not taking any chances now. You took care of Mr. Threepwood then? Guy Brush Threepwood will not be a problem. At this very moment, he's 20 feet underwater, probably bloated up like a fattened pig, his eyes being eaten out by crabs, fish pecking at his fingers. Kind of makes you wish you were there to watch. Ah, yes, sir. Ugh. Sure does it that. Now, go check on the route. Make sure it's locked up tight. Aye, aye, Captain.
You've already got the T-shirt. What do you want now? The governor's been kidnapped! What? That's ridiculous. Oh, no. This looks bad. Very bad. I'm getting a ship and a crew together to go rescue her. Hmm. I have a feeling I'm going to regret this, but count me in. I'll meet you at the dock. Hey! I don't like visitors. Who are you? The governor's been kidnapped! What? That's preposterous. Oh, really? Take a look at this note they left. Oh, no. This is horrible! What are we going to do? We could get a crew together and sail off after them. What an idea! Now, if we only had a captain... Well, what about me? Ha! You! Ha! Ha ha ha! Oh! Ha ha That's a good one. Hey, I'm serious. Really? Really. Okay, let's see you prove it. Walk this way. There's something in here that I want to show you. Something horrible. Something so horrible that I stay awake at night just thinking about it. But I don't mean to scare you. I'm sure a big brave guy like yourself will have no problem facing this monster. After all, it's much smaller than the beast that bit off my hands so many years. Is a go! Arr, har, har, har. Let's just hope you're quicker than I was. Oh, I just remembered something. I never did get around to feeding him this week. Ha 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 ha! Silly me! I'll let you open this last door yourself. Just let me get out of your way. Wait. Ha ha ha. Getting cold feet? No, I just don't know what I'm supposed to do. You're supposed to open that little door. And if you're brave enough, touch the beast inside. Oh, is that all? Okay, go ahead. If you've got the guts. I don't believe it! You are a brave man after all! You faced the beast I've feared all these years! You had the guts to do what I never could! I feel like such a coward! I'm not good enough to be on your crew! I'm not even good enough to swab your de 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 dicks! Oh, come on, Mr... Uh, Meathook. Mr. Meathook, you're a big, strong, good-looking guy with a great tattoo. I can make it talk, 
Wanna see? Ha! Uh, maybe later. Anyway, you can swab my decks anytime. Really? Sure. <clears throat> I can still be on your crew. Just pack your stuff and meet me at the dock. Oh, thank you. Thank you. I won't let you down. Hey! Maybe I'll get a chance to show you my whole tattoo routine when we're at sea! Wow, this is sounding better and better all the time. Wow! It works both ways. That's some chicken. Howdy! I'm Stan of Stan's previously owned vessels, and I'd stand on my head to make you a deal. What sort of craft are you looking for? Big? Little? Fast? Slow? You want it? I got it. And if I don't got it, I'll get it. I want to make you a deal that you're happy with. Because if you're not happy, I'm not happy, but I know you're gonna leave here happy today. How do I know? Just look at all these ships. I've got something for everyone. Come, take a look around. So tell me, what are you interested in looking at today? I don't really have that much to spend. Have no fear. Every ship I sell is a bargain. But if you're looking for a real steal, I've got just the boat for you. Walk this way. This here is the famous Sea Monkey, the only ship ever to make it to Monkey Island and come back with anyone aboard left alive. Or should I say, anything. You see, the previous owners of this ship were two adventurous pirates. They set off, like many before, to find the legendary secret of Monkey Island. And like many before, they disappeared forever. Their fate? A mystery. Almost as mysterious as how this ship returned to Melee Island without a single human aboard. Some claim it was sailed back by a crew of chimps. Chimps? There aren't any chimps in the Caribbean. Oh, shut up. It makes a good story. Anyway, this baby's mine now. That is, until someone makes me an offer. Just how much were you looking to spend today? Actually, I was hoping to get one on credit. Sorry, kid. Neither a borrower nor a lender be. That's just old Stan's philosophy. If you've got a job, the storekeeper in town might extend you some credit. Then we'd have something to talk about. Unless, of course, you've already got some other means of financing. On second thought, this may not be the ship for me. Well, heck, I can understand that. Nothing wrong with being indecisive, even if it is a waste of my time. So, what else can I show you? Actually, I'd like to go think about it some more. Sure, sure, think it over. I don't want you to feel pressured or anything. Bye now. I forgot to give you my card. And here's something else to remember me by. A compass? An extra strong magnetic compass. With your picture on it. That's right. It always points directly back here. So if you're looking for a good deal, you know where to go. I'll be right here when you come back. But I can't guarantee that any of these ships will. Right. They're moving fast today. Yes, sirree.
can't hardly keep anything in stock. He'll be back. Hey, where'd you go? I hike halfway across the island to try and get you a reservation with the Swordmaster, who, by the way, says you can go jump in the lake, and when I come back, whew, you're gone. See if I ever do you a favor again. What do you want? I'm interested in procuring a note of credit. You are? I, uh, you got a job? Yes, of course I do. All right. I'll get one of my notes and we'll fill it out. Let's see here. What did you say your occupation was? I'm a grog-swilling, foul-smelling pirate. Foul-smelling, yes. Grog-swilling, maybe. But a pirate? <laughs> Don't make me laugh. Come back when you got some tattoos, or a peg leg, or at least an eye patch for crying out loud. What else do you want? I'm looking for the Swordmaster of Melee Island. Look, I told you she doesn't want to see you. Maybe if you asked her again? Hmm, I guess I could hike all the way over there. Again. I'll be right back. And don't touch anything! Hmm, there's nothing in here but this note. I, the good and honorable storekeeper, do hereby take liability for the debts of the bearer of this note for any amount up to 5,000 pieces of eight. Howdy! Great to see you again!
I knew you'd come back. Everybody does. You know why they come back? Just look at all these ships. I've got something for everyone. Come, take a look around. So, what else can I show you? Uh, could I see the cheap one again? I knew it. I knew it. Just can't get her out of your mind, can you? Walk this way. Hard to stay away from a good mystery, isn't it, hmm? How much would you like to spend? I got credit from the storekeeper. Will you take it? Hey, of course! Your credit's always good at stands. It doesn't matter if you've had credit problems in the past. Divorce, bankruptcy, chronic gambling mishaps. I mean, who am I to judge, right? If the storekeeper trusts you enough to give you a letter of credit, then you must be an honest man with a steady income, right? Uh, right. Let's get down to brass tack, shall we? I know you want it. You know you want it. And I know that you know that I want to sell it, so... Let's talk extras. Extras? You want to talk extras? Great! This baby's loaded with extras. For instance, did I tell you about the porthole defoggers? I think I can live without that particular piece of junk. Okay, but don't blame me if you run into an iceberg or something. But wait, there's more. Did I tell you about the anti-lock anchor? I think I can live without that particular piece of junk. Sure, throw safety to the wind. But wait, there's more. Did I tell you about the rack and pinion rudder? I think I can live without that particular piece of junk. Well, I guess it'll float without it, barely. But wait, there's more. Did I tell you about the velour sail covers? I think I can live without that particular piece of junk. Hey, travel light. I can understand that, sure. Of course, mutiny is an ugly word. But wait, there's more. Did I tell you about the tachometer? I think I can live without that particular piece of junk. Wow, does your wife know you're such a cheapskate? But wait, there's more. Did I tell you about the elevator made with wood from burgundy wine casks? Enough about extras already. Okay, where were we? Well, what do you think it's worth? You could sail this puppy away today for just 7,750 pieces of eight. How does that sound to you? Forget it. I don't need this boat anyway. Now wait a second. Don't go away mad. I'm sure we can work something out. Well, maybe you're right. Of course I am. Now where were we? Oh yeah. I'm going to be getting a whole new shipment next week. So you got me over a barrel. I've got to sell this baby even if it means losing my shirt. I'd like to make you an offer. Great. How much? Well, how does 3,000 pieces of eight sound? Sure. I guess we can start out at the bottom. I got all day. Just tell me, what would it take to get you to sail this ship away? Today. I'd like to make you an offer. Great. How much? All right. 5,000, but that's my final offer. 5,000 pieces of eight. Okay, okay. It's killing me, but okay. And I thought I was gonna give my children Christmas presents this year. Just take it out of here. I'm glad to get rid of it. Oh yeah, do you have that note from the storekeeper on you? Thanks. I've got to run these numbers by my boss. He'll think I'm nuts, but I'll talk him into it. You meet me at the dock with your crew. I'll bring the ship and the papers. I just want to say that I really feel like we got to know each other today. I mean, I really felt some 
bonding here. And I don't just say that to everybody. It's been great doing business with you. Really? Sucker. See you at the dock and don't forget your crew. All three of them. Hey, it's a good thing you showed up. Ten people have offered to buy this baby off me while I've been standing here waiting for you. But I said, no way. I know a guy who's in love with this ship, and it would break his heart to lose it. Am I right? Of course I am. I mean, just look at her. Sleek, aerodynamic, a buoyant barnacle-covered beauty. I think we're having a real moment here. I've changed my mind. I can't give her up. You can have your money back. How could I sell something so dear? Then again, a deal's a deal, right? Right. Catch you later. <laughs> Good luck, yeah. Enjoy. I'm out of here. Whoops, I almost forgot to give you this free seafaring literature. My gift to you. Just remember where you got it. Stands! Maybe I should have gotten that extended warranty after all. Hey! Long time no see! Otis! I thought I'd never see you again. Hey, I could never pass up a chance to make some easy money. Uh, money? Yeah, we are getting paid for this, right? Glad you could make it, Carla. Look, don't start with me, okay? So what's that waterlogged wreck doing out there? How are we gonna get our ship in here with that pile of scrap in the way? Where's the cabin boy? I need him to go back to my place and pick up my bags. What's going on here? Where's our ship? Where's our crew? This isn't gonna be as easy as I thought. Through the courageous leadership of Captain Freep, uh, Threepwood, the Sea Monkey is finally underway. Undaunted by their lack of navigational equipment or expertise, the crew begins to plan their voyage. First of all, I'd like to say it's great to be working with such a fine crew. The voyage ahead is not going to be easy. It's going to take skill, endurance, and most of all, teamwork. First, I thought we'd assign some duties. What is it we were suckered into doing again? I made a list. Suckered is right. I don't see what the big deal is with rescuing the governor. She can clearly take care of herself. The way I look at it, we got this great ship. Well, we got a ship. Why don't we kick back, tie a rope to the wheel, and cruise for a while? I could use a little work on my tan. Come to think of it, I have been a little stressed out lately. I could use a rest. Then it's decided. We cruise the Caribbean. Uh, I'm doomed. There's an old dusty book inside. Let's see what it is. It says, Captain's Log, March 10th. First mate Toothrot and I have been searching for Monkey Island for over a month with no success. The directions we purchased on Melee proved to be a recipe, not a map as we had believed. Captain's Log, March 12th. I wish Toothrot would take a bath. Captain's Log, March 17th. I wish Toothrot would stop snoring. Captain's Log, March 23rd. Tooth rot is really starting to get on my nerves. I figure it's only a matter of time before we come to blows. Captain's Log, April 2nd. As a gesture to restore our friendship, Tooth rot offered to fix dinner tonight. Captain's Log, April 3rd. I don't know how we did it, but we've arrived at Monkey Island. Both Tooth rot and I passed out from the soupy fixed last night. When we awoke, 
Monkey Island was sitting off the bow. Captain's Log, April 4th. Toothrod and I filled the rowboat with supplies and are ready to set out to Monkey Island. We are both excited at the prospect of being the first civilized people to learn the secret of Monkey Island. Captain's Log, April 5th. We had to turn around and return to the ship. Toothrot forgot to go to the bathroom before we left. We'll set out again tomorrow. And that's the last entry. There's some very fine wine in here. I'll grab it. Wow, gunpowder! I think I'll take some. Great! A toy prize inside! This is no prize. It's a small key with a finely engraved monkey on it. It looks like a very heavy metal chest. Man, that's heavy. Filled, no doubt, with golden jewels. Hey, look, a piece of paper. And some cinnamon sticks. Directions to Monkey Island. Preheat pot to 450 degrees. Add the following ingredients. One cinnamon stick. Four leaves of mint. One human skull. Pressed. One squirt squid ink. Two pints monkey blood. Mmm. One live chicken, three ounces brimstone, one or more of the following. Pyridoxine hydrochloride, zinc oxide, yellow 8, mine mononitrate, and BHA. Let bubble over a low flame until thickened. Serves crew of four. Good thing I've got a million of these. Mmm, this is gonna be good. I love cinnamon. That should be enough. Just a drop. About time I got rid of this worthless artifact. Yikes! Oh, I think I'm getting dizzy. Overcome by the fumes and stench, Guybrush quickly loses consciousness. Moments later, the voodoo spell kicks in, turning the ship to an unknown heading and off on its mysterious voyage. Days pass.
feel awful. It's called How to Arm Yourself in Sea Battle. I'll just burn them all. I'll take some more. Holy monkey bladders! It's Monkey Island! I'm Herman Toothrot! Don't bother to say hello. I've only been waiting 20 years to talk to somebody civilized. I don't mind. Fine. By the way, you might want to think about putting out that fire. Someone could be hurt. Notice of public meeting. There will be a meeting Wednesday evening to discuss the recent occupation of the sacred monkey head by the ghost pirate LeChuck, and the subsequent impact on the environment and the tourist trade. All Monkey Island cannibals are encouraged to attend. The trail ends here. Oh, there's a nifty lens in it. Oh, perfect! I'm gone five minutes and somebody comes in here and dumps gunpowder all over the floor! Naturally, I don't think you had anything to do with it. I'm sure it's just a coincidence that you came in here to prowl around right after some mysterious person dirtied up my nice clean floor. I saw a monkey leaving here. He must have done it. Don't be a jerk! Boy, it sure is hot here. I'll take this interesting rock, too. It's printed on letterhead. To the ghost pirate LeChuck, we must ask you once again to curtail your nightly activities in the sacred monkey head area. 
Decent people are trying to sleep. Kindly keep the noise level down. The Monkey Island Cannibals. P.S. We saw you taking that woman with the scarf down there. To the Monkey Island Cannibals, please stop moving this. It is delicately balanced. Herman Toothrot. I never get tired of this view, even if I have been looking at it for 20 years now. Even if it is the only view on the island. Yes, it is a nice view. Are you some kind of a castaway? What do I look like? The caretaker? <laughs> Listen to this guy. Am I some kind of castaway? <laughs> I thought this island was uninhabited. Well, you thought wrong. My name's Toothrot. Herman Toothrot. I live here. Well, not right here. In the fort on the volcano. Were you stranded? You think I stay here for my health? Oh <laughs> boy! How did you get stranded here? Well, I sailed here with a friend of mine 20 years ago. We hoped to discover the secret of Monkey Island. But my friend met with a horrifying and tragic accident, which claimed his life. And I couldn't sail a ship back by myself. I trained a bunch of chimps to crew the ship and sail it back to Melee Island. They were supposed to get help and come back for me. Something must have happened. How come you didn't just go with the chimps? Weeks on a boat full of monkeys. Oh, joy! I'm Guybrush. I'm here to rescue someone. Well, here I am. Glad you came to rescue me. Though you might have been a bit earlier. The find on that overdue library book should be pretty big by now. Let's go! Um... That's not exactly what I meant. I sailed here in pursuit of the governor of Melee Island, who's been kidnapped by a ghost. Oh, fine. Don't rescue me. I like it here. The rain on my head, the wind at my back, the bugs on my plate. Um, well, perhaps I could take you back too, but I'll need to find the governor first. Oh, that's no problem. I'm sure she's on the ghost ship in the secret underground hideaway. Really? Well, how do you know this? How can I get there? Easiest way in is through the big monkey head idol. I went in there myself years ago. You'll need a key to open the thing up. I got one from some of the locals. You say you got a key from the locals? I lent my banana picker to them, and they never gave it back. As collateral, they gave me this enormous cotton swab. It opens the big monkey head idol they worship. Not like I ever need to go into the monkey head, but if they want it back, I've got to have my picker first. It's a matter of pride, you know. Why don't you just give me the key to the monkey head? No, I needed to get back my banana picker. I told you about them borrowing my banana picker and never returning it, right? What happened to your pants? What pants? Excuse me, I've got some pressing business to attend to. Yes, me too. <laughs> Rubber tree. Wow! Looked like it hit the big banana tree on the beach. I bet the odds against that are incredible. Boy, it sure is hot here.
To the Monkey Island Cannibals. I don't mind you worshipping in front of the sacred monkey idol which doubles as my home and secret base of operations, but could you please refrain from leaving messy sacrifices on my porch? Also, please do not enter the monkey head. G.P. LeChuck. This is an old friend of mine, the one I sailed here with. He's lost weight. Never looked better. <laughs> what happened to him? Oh, nasty accident. He was trying to put up a swing. Excuse me, I've got some pressing business to attend to. Yes, me too. <laughs> There's a message in it. It's a memo. To Herman Toothrot, from Yammer, Hem, and Haw, Attorneys at Law, regarding suit against cannibal tribe over malicious tossing of your oars into a chasm. I think we have a case here. We can probably soak them for emotional distress and possibly punitive damages as well. Hmm, sounds like legalese. I don't think I can translate the rest. Look at that fabulous ship out there! Did you come in that? You're braver than you look. Actually, it looks a lot like a ship I used to own. I got taken by a guy named Stan. Stan of Stan's used ships? On <laughs> Melee Island? <laughs> Excuse me, I've got some pressing business to attend to. Yes, me too. <laughs> I can paddle it with these oars. Herman, please return our key to the monkey head, the cannibals. Is that a banana in your pocket, or are you just glad to see us? You've got a lot of nerve stealing from the notorious Monkey Island cannibals. You're cannibals? Well, yes. Although lately, we've been trying to stay away from red meat. Only for health reasons. We're still as vicious as ever. Oh, especially with tourists who try to steal our stuff for souvenirs. Well, what do you have to say for yourself? Oh, go ahead and eat me. See if I care. Hey, 
Whatever you say. We might eat you. We might let you go. We'll have to talk about it with the village nutritionist. Come, let me show you our guest hut. That should do it. Cannibals, I'm not giving you bloodsuckers your key to the monkey head until you return my banana picker. H.T. Looks loose. And no, I'm not getting squeamish. I'd love to eat the guy. So let's do it. But think of your arteries. We are cannibals for crying out loud. Yeah, but cannibals have to watch their saturated fats just like everyone else. Oh, if I have to eat any more fruit, my head's gonna turn into one big citrus. No offense, Lemonhead. Private property. Worshipping is permitted, but please do not enter the monkey head. G.P. LeChuck. Wow. I doubt anyone will miss this piece of junk.
Ah, the banana thief returns to the scene of the crime. Maybe we should just eat him right now. Do you have any idea how much cholesterol is in one of these things? Now then, how did you break out of our, our hut, and why did you come back? Well, go ahead and eat me. See if I care. Hey, whatever you say. That should do it. Well, well, well. You're quite the escape artist, aren't you? I told you we should eat him. Don't eat me! I'm a mighty pirate! That means his skin will be leathery and his meat tough and stringy. You're of no use to us, nutritionally speaking. But if you had some sort of offering for us, something that we could pass on to the great monkey, well... Hey, wow, this is impressive. Lemonhead, take a look at this. And it says, made by Lemonhead, just like one of mine. We should take this to the great monkey. Yes, I agree. We are very grateful to you for this fine gift. If there's anything you need on Monkey Island, just come see us. I want is my banana picker back. He's babbling to himself. But will they give it to me? They want the money. Oh, hi. I was just looking for the natives to get them to return my banana picker. But I can't seem to find them. I have your banana picker. Hey, thanks. I thought I'd never see this again. Here, you can take this key to the monkey head back to the natives. Okay. And don't worry, I won't use it or anything. Excuse me, I've got some pressing business to attend to. Yes, me too. <laughs> I had a feeling that in hell, there would be mushrooms. I think it wants me to go to the right.
Okay, we're here. Now what do you want from me? May I please have that necklace? No, but thanks for asking so politely. Oh, come on, please. You can beg all you want, but you can't have it. Why can't I have it? I've got a bad feeling about this place. I think I might need it. Pretty please? You can beg all you want, but you can't have it. Pretty pretty please? You can beg all you want, but you can't have it. Pretty please with sugar on top? Oh, all right, you big baby. You can have it. Hey, what good's a necklace if you don't have shoulders? This feels weird. Ugh, it's all over my hands. I don't see anything special about it. Well, except that big glowing voodoo anti-root inside. I can't get inside it. It's nailed, chained, bolted, roped, glued, and welded together. What was that? This should stop it from squeaking. Oh, good, more inventory. This should do it. I'll just grab this old root and be on my way. A long walk, a brief row, and a short hike later. I did it! I got the route!
Wow! Look, he's not kidding! Here it is! He's not such a wimp after all! Come on, let's go make the brew of the fermented root. Wait here, we'll be right back. I'd love to have you stuffed. I'd make a fortune. There it is! One squirt of that stuff and the ectoplasm really hits the fan. And if you have any left over, it's delicious with a little vanilla ice cream. Good luck! Thanks. After some more furious paddling... Eep! You scared me half to death! Have a taste of root beer, you evil spirit! Wait! If it's ghosts you're after, I can tell you where the others are! Uh, tell me where the ghost ship is. If I tell you, will you promise not to hurt me? Okay, I promise. Okay, they all left for the wedding. What wedding? The Chuck is marrying the governor of Melee Island. What? But how will they... Where's the wedding? There's a lovely church on Melee Island. They're headed there. Melee Island? Oh, no. I've got to go after them. I've got to stop that wedding. Bye. Oh, there you are. We've been looking all over for you. Bob! Hi, Bob! We've got to get back to Melee Island. No kidding. Yeah, we're out of sunscreen. Come on, let's go. See you, Bob. Well, that certainly was easier than the trip to Monkey Island. Wish those guys hadn't been so excited about getting sunscreen. Now I'll have to stop the wedding by myself. Yikes! Hey! Wait a second! Could I interest you in some root beer, sir? Root beer? Oh boy! I love root beer! <laughs> cool. Excuse me, do you have an invitation to the wedding? No, but I have this deadly magic root beer. This stuff's great! Watch out, LeChuck! There's a new sheriff in town and his name... Hey, I better get to the church. If there be any man with reason, that these two uh, people should not be united in blissful matrimony, let him speak now or forever hold his peace. Stop the wedding! Hey! Who's that? You! Take this, you vaporous voodoo vermin! Take what? Are you trying to bribe me? Governor! Governor! Governor? What's going on? Oh, Guybrush, you mad fool! I'm impressed you came to rescue me, but it really wasn't necessary. I had everything well in hand. Unfortunately, your arrival has made it necessary for me to tip my hand early. How? Who? But what? If you're here, then who's that in the dress? Oh, 
what? Oh, don't scare them! They have my ghost zapping root beer bottle! Oh, I'll get it! <coughs> Oops. Oh, nice going, Guybrush. Now I've got to chase them down to get my voodoo root beer back. But I... Uh, hey! You dared come here and confront me? I can't believe your audacity! Well, I can't believe your stupidity. Yeah? Well, I can't believe your frivolity. Well, I can't believe your atrocity. Yeah? Well, I can't believe your mobility. Well, I can't believe your enormity. Yeah? Well, I can't believe your fragility. Well, I can't believe your virility. Ah, I grow tired of you. Um, say now, let's not be hasty. Good to see you, son. How's the ship? If you're interested in trading up, I can give you a fair price for it. Howdy, partner. You know, just by looking at you, I can tell you're a man of the world. A man with an eye for quality. A man who knows a good bargain when he... Oh! Hey! Yikes! Oh, don't sneak up on me like that. Sorry. That's okay. You know, LeChuck was a deviant, obnoxious, slithery, creepy, crawly sort of a guy, but I'll say one thing for him. What's that? He sure looks nice exploding against the night sky. Yes, it's very romantic. Can I buy you a root beer? Sure. And there's more at Stan's. Oh, gosh. I hope Stan's okay. You know, I completely forgot about Herman Toothrot. Now I wonder where my pirate friend has got to. I certainly hope he didn't leave without me. Hey, at least I learned something from all this. What's that? Never pay more than 20 bucks for a computer game. A what? I don't know. Not sure why I said that. 